What is up guys, welcome back to my kitchen. As usual, Travis Ford here with Ford Fitness and today, as you guys know, we're doing a meal prep. This is nine times out of 10, the most requested video on my channel. I get emails, DMs, instant messages. What else do they have these days? Everything, every form of communication asking for a meal prep. I'm like, man, come on, that's what my channel is based off of. You can expect regular meal preps. But you guys know how it is on this channel. You ask, I deliver. So today we are doing the classic style meal prep. This meal prep actually isn't for myself. There is a nonprofit organization pretty close to my house. You know, my mom goes and helps out there a lot. And basically what they do is they hand out food to the underprivileged and homeless. So knowing that I do these meal preps a lot, she asked me if I can put one together. So that is exactly what we are doing today. I think this first video is just gonna be me making the meal prep, which is still an amazing meal prep. This is probably the best recipe I have done so far. So stay tuned and let's get started. Stole the camera off of the tripod for a quick second so you guys can see this beautiful face up close and personal. Boy, if you don't get- Totally joking. Do not destroy me in the comments. Today we're making pork chops. So first thing you're gonna need are the pork for the chops. Super sorry, that was cringeworthy. I will not make jokes again. But yeah, you're gonna need the pork chops. If you look real closely, I don't know how good your eyesight is, but you probably see some pork chops just taking a bath in this disgusting looking liquid. This is called a brine. Now you don't have to brine your pork chops, but let me tell you, it helps a lot if you're used to having leathery, hard pork chops. This is gonna really soften them up and you don't have to do it for that long. It is just a simple salt and water mixture, which I will have the exact measurements to in the description. You throw them in there for about 30 minutes to two hours, and that is gonna do all the tenderizing for you. I also put some garlic in there so they can soak up all that flavor. So what I'm gonna do now is empty these out and get them in a bowl. After you empty out all of the water from the brine, which like I said, you don't have to do, you're gonna get a couple paper towels, lay them down, make sure you have something underneath there so that the liquid from the brine does not soak through, but you're gonna wanna dry these off. So dry them off on the paper towel. And then because there is a brine process, which is gonna take up a little bit of time, it really doesn't take that long, but you guys know I like to keep all of my meal preps short and simple. We're gonna just throw these in the oven. There are a crazy number of ways that you can cook pork chops, but I wanna keep it super simple. I wanna keep this video short and to the point. So we are just gonna throw these in the oven and they are still gonna be ridiculously delicious. So let's get started. So like I said, we're keeping it simple. I'm not gonna put too much seasoning on here. First, we're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil. Got one of these brushes. And we're just gonna coat all of these with some of this olive oil. All right, and now we are gonna hit it with a little bit of black pepper. Because it was laying in a brine bath, which consists mostly of salt, I'm not gonna add any more right now. When they come out, if they need a little bit of salt, I will add as needed, but I'm not gonna add any more before fully cooking them. So if you're cooking these in the oven like I am, startcooking.com recommends cooking these till they reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. That is if you want them medium done, and if you want them well done, you're gonna cook them until it reaches an internal temperature of 170 degrees. What I've found is 25 minutes on one side and 25 on the other side at 350 degrees works perfectly but your results may vary, so it's always good to have one of these bad boys on hand. What you're gonna do is stick that into the meat, and it's gonna tell you the internal temperature. So yeah, let's get these in the oven. So 
So I wanted to have the protein content in this entire meal to be relatively high. So because of that, I picked beans with the highest protein content that I could find. These are seasoned pinto beans and they're gonna have 10 grams of protein per serving. Then I didn't just wanna go with conventional rice, so my choices boiled down to quinoa and farro. In this case, I chose quinoa and these are going to have six grams of protein per serving, which is fantastic. And then you guys know me, my broccoli. So I just picked up my favorite, these steamables, and this is just broccoli, which does have some protein in it. It's gonna have three grams of protein per serving. So these are already pre-cooked, which means you can eat them straight out of the can. There's no cooking process to these. And as with the quinoa, they can sometimes be tough to cook. So that's why I found these cool little packets. Um, they advertise that it's ready in 15 minutes. So let's check that out. Okay, so as for the quinoa, one packet makes three servings. I'm going to need nine servings, so I'm gonna make three packets. Basically, what I'm gonna do is just triple everything, but if you're just making a couple servings, all you need is one packet. So while we're waiting for the water to heat up for the quinoa, let's talk about the plating options. So you guys always see me using the Ziploc containers for my meal preps, but they never have enough space and they never have enough compartments. But as you can see, I still ended up buying two separate containers, just because the one that I bought still could not fit everything that I wanted. Last week, I was actually contacted by a company that makes meal prep containers, especially for meal prepping. That is the first time I've heard of that. You know, there are a lot of containers these days that are made for lunch, but if you're someone that's looking to gain weight, AKA someone that eats a lot of food in one sitting, a lot of those do not fit. So like I said, they contacted me, they asked if I wanted to try it out. There was no way I was gonna pass up that opportunity, said yes, it should be getting in sometime next week. And they also agreed to help do a giveaway. You guys know I love my giveaways. So stay tuned till the next meal prep and I will be showing those at the end of the video. But for now, if you want to check out their site, I will have the link in the description. All right, let's get back to the meal prep. We've got a little simmer going on here, so I'm going to start adding in the quinoa. All right, so now we are going to let that simmer for 14 to 18 minutes. Super quickly, because I'm gonna be giving these meals away and they're not for my personal consumption, I'm not gonna measure out every single one to fit my personal macros. That being said, I will do one that is specifically measured out and I will have those macros and the further nutrient info in the description below. So check that description for the general macros. So we are right at what looks like 170. Okay, so this is the first bag of my broccoli. We are putting that in the microwave for seven minutes. Each can of beans has three servings and I need nine servings, so I've got three cans of beans. Let's get started on that. So whilst getting these in their containers, I realized that these smaller containers perfectly fit one serving. I also realized how small one serving is. Realistically, I'm gonna be having two of these servings as with almost everyone else. So that is gonna be 20 grams of protein. Ridiculously amazing. That's almost the same as a protein shake. And that is all there is to it, people. We are done. Like I said, I realized how small the portion size is for the beans were, so I decided to double up 
which means I'm gonna be having two servings of beans with these meals. Double the protein, that's gonna be 20 grams of protein total. I've got two servings of quinoa in here for a total of 12 grams of protein, two servings of broccoli for a total of six grams of protein, and of course, the big boy himself, one six ounce pork chop for a total of 40 grams of protein. As you can tell, this is a protein packed meal. Absolutely crazy. I think my friends down at the organization are gonna absolutely love this. Also, in my next video, I'm gonna be taking a trip down to the organization. I wanted to do that this time. However, with my tight schedule and going back to school, I just couldn't. But I really wanted to give you guys the opportunity to check it out, see what it's like, and maybe get you thinking, you know, maybe you can do this for yourself and help some people out in the process. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like I said, on the next meal prep, I will have totally different containers. These are gonna be specially made to hold absolutely everything. I will have the link in the description if you wanna check it out beforehand. But if you wanna wait for the video, I am also going to be doing a giveaway of those. So keep a lookout for that. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and stay strong.